First up, we have uh, Isaac, which is a newly launched product uh, as of this morning, a couple hours ago. Something like that? Actually, it's a newly launched product as of tomorrow morning. Oh, okay. It's still on, under embargo. We have time. So, uh, hi, my name is Greg, and I come from a company which is named uh, Blecko, uh, for those of you who are aficionados of the search engine space. And uh, we're launching a new product, and so the first thing I'd like to ask you guys is, um, if you think that Isaac is the best thing since sliced bread, please tweet or blog about it tomorrow, and uh, not today. Because <laughs> uh, there is a, a press embargo going on, and hopefully it won't be uh, too much in tatters by the time I'm done uh, demoing for you folks. So, uh, so uh, how many of you use search engines? Okay. Um, so they're, they're somewhat popular, um, but, but l let me tell you, the search engine user interface is boring. Um, and uh, so in the industry, we call it 10 blue links, right? Because the 10 organic results you get, which are the ones which are not ads or less ads or whatever, um, uh, uh, it, you know, it has these titles in, in blue that you can click on, right? And, uh, and uh, everybody does it the same way. And in fact, the reason that it's blue is because if you A-B test it, you discover that the people want it to be blue. And if it's not blue, they don't like it. And uh, so we're all stuck in the straitjacket. Um, but then these things, uh, so, and it's been that way for 15 years now. Okay. So, uh, so one day uh, somebody invented uh, the tablet. Well, it's not somebody. It's uh, Steve Jobs. And, um, and so, uh, so desktops are about work and tablets are about uh, uh, fun. And uh, so the way you want to use a tablet is, uh, is very different. Um, and uh, so here we have a, a tablet search engine. So it does the things you expect uh, tablets to do, and then when you do a search, so I'm running a search on uh, 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 Mac Mini, um, what it does is it comes back with a whole lot of uh, different information, because uh, after all, you don't want to type too long on a tablet, right? You want to actually do something with it, and so let's see, what do I have here? I have Apple, I have gadgets, I have news about stuff, so what's the news about the iPad? I can expand that category instead of scrolling. So, uh, so the target, uh, let's see, the target for Apple stock stays over $1,000. Here we have a bull um, who loves uh, Apple's stock. Um, okay, uh, so let's uh, have an example. You're, you're lying on your couch, and uh, uh, somebody mentions uh, the word uh, Romania, and you're like, oh, yeah, I remember that's a, a, a country, uh, uh, but I don't really remember that much about Romania. So I don't want to type very much, so I type Romania into my tablet search engine. Um, and what does it come back with? Let's see, it's got uh, <laughs> images about Romania, it's got uh, maps, it's got weather, uh, okay, so maybe I'm going to go there. News about Romania, you can uh, follow the ongoing soap opera in between the president and the prime minister in Romania. Um, uh, maybe I want to travel to Romania, and maybe I want to know about the latest news for Romania. So here I am looking at the latest news, and so autumn in Romania, photo sharing community. <coughs> Um, so, uh, so let's do another search here. So let, I hear that there, I don't really watch sports, but uh, I, I hear that uh, there's this team named the, the Giants, and I'm not exactly sure what sport they are, but, but I know that my tablet will tell me uh, without me having to do too much work. And uh, so what do I have here? Oh, wait, let's see, Super Bowl, football, Major League Baseball, I'm so confused. Well, okay, that's because the Giants actually are a team for both football and baseball, and let's say I want tickets. Sports, so you can get a whole lot of information in a very small amount of typing here. And so I think we can all agree that this is uh, very different from uh, 10 blue links. It's a few photos, it appears there's this guy with a beard, uh, and it's all a mystery to me. Let's see, so and we'll end off with uh, kittens because, uh, you know, and so, t you know, 10 blue links. They don't really look very much like a kitten, right? If you want to look at a kitten, you know, I, I want a good result here, right? So I've got, I've got pets, I've got uh, veterinary school, I've got the latest news on kittens. Oh my God, who would throw a kitten off a? Of, oh, I'm not even going to think about that. And then the, the clumsy kittens compilations. So here we've got a, a video of uh, clumsy kittens in action. This is uh, really exciting. So, so there you have it. Thank you. Question. Are you indexing your own data or are you just pulling from the
Uh, so Bucko is a, a five-year-old company, and uh, we've raised uh, fifty-five million dollars, and we have fifteen hundred servers and forty-eight employees. And so yes, we have our own index. Uh, it's about a four-billion-page index, um, which is significantly smaller than Google's is. But uh, Google actually indexes a lot of spammy pages on purpose, and uh, Bucko's editorial policy is to throw out spam early and often. And uh, so so yes, we have our own index, and, and actually among the current search engine startups were the only one that has its own index. Can you uh, prioritize or customize the category scheme returns? Um, so at, at this instant, the categories are, are uh, all uh, uh, determined by us. Um, and uh, and they're, they're, of course, are relative to the query that you made. Um, so if you, if, you're, if you use Bleco.com, which is our desktop product that has 10 blue links, um, we have all this stuff going on behind the scenes, and on the tablet we actually show it to you. So eventually uh, we would like to probably learn, uh, you know, for a particular person, either they'll tell us what they like or else we'll learn what they like and we'll make those categories more likely to fire, but it's not in the product today. Okay, so you talked about, you know, So the question it's is, is uh, you know, what, what user research we yeah. did that made sure this is, this is as lovely as Tim Blue Links? And the answer is, when you're, when you're inventing a new product, you can't do that. Because the way somebody, you know, I, I go to usertesting.com and I buy, you know, 15 people, uh, you know, for 39 bucks a piece to, to do a 10-minute video of them yeah. using the product. And the, the trick is, uh, you can study them all you want, but that doesn't tell you a damn thing about a million people using it for a month. Because after you've used it for a month, you're going to uh, use the product differently. And so there's no way that we can design the product today that will be appropriate for people one month from now after they've used it okay. for a long time. Like and so we're flying blind to just like everybody else at the moment. In the middle. Uh, is it a native app or web app? Uh, so uh, it is a native app. Uh, it, uh, uh, it's available for both uh, iOS and Android. Uh, we got approved uh, a day before uh, they went on vacation uh, before Christmas. So unfortunately, uh, the app, if you go you know, tonight and, and look for Isaac, I-Z-I-K, um, in the App Store, uh, you'll be downloading something which is not totally perfect. Um, as soon as they approve our next one, it's, it's, it'll be the, the, the next revision, which is in the queue, is very native. Uh, you can also use it on Isaac.com, and it actually looks about the same um, there, and, and it even works on the desktop if you like that. So in, in yellow? Yeah, well, I, I guess I, I'm not really a big user, but I have Clipboard on my tablet, for example, which is more of a sort of a content generator in the sense that it sort of pushes stuff to me that makes sense relative to RSS feeds that I look at and some other things. <coughs> What's your sort of thoughts about, I mean, it, it's great that you sort of stand there and you launch and you'll search, and, and that's kind of nice, but is there any thought more about being more aggressive about kind of getting in front of people in terms of, uh, well, so people, you know, search and consumption are related but different things. And, and by the way, um, Flipboard is a partner of ours. Every time you add a new feed in Flipboard, it does a Bleco search, and it, it labels the results. Uh, so they, they use this to find feeds. Um, so we have a product, uh, Roxy, which is sort of in between the two, R-O-C-K-Z-I, which I, we released a couple months ago, and I won't talk about much, but it actually does some of the pushing thing of getting things in your face. And, and it's not stuff that we got off of a, you know, at one RSS feed. It's stuff that our search engine synthesized together. Of course, of course we have real-time search in our search engine among everything else. So R-O-C-K-Z-I.com. Go, go check it out. So in the Can acronym. proprietary websites uh, submit uh, their, submit to Isaac for, to be crawled? So our search engine, uh, it's a, been out for a long time, and, and uh, if you uh, go look at our crawler page, uh, the basic attitude is uh, don't cr don't call us, we'll call you. Um, if you're important enough, we'll find enough in links to come and decide to crawl you. With a small index, needless to say, we have a very large number of people who would like to be in it. Uh, they're the search engine optimization SEO people. Most of them are bad people, and we really don't spend much time talking to them. Yeah. Right? What is your monetization strategy? So uh, uh, for the for 
Blanco, the main Blanco website, we run search ads, which are the most lucrative kinds of advertisements known to mankind. Um, and uh, they do quite well on our engine, uh, as, as they should. Uh, we actually don't know how to monetize uh, Isaac yet, but it didn't stop us. So uh, I've got a shopping <laughs> category that I personally built that's nearly ready to go, um, but uh, we don't have any clue at this moment. Time for one more question. One more question. How do you get funding if you don't know how to monetize this? How do you get funding if you don't know how to monetize it? You know, we, we got $55 million of funding before we had a even a demo working. Um, <laughs> uh, it, it's all on the team and the dream uh, to get funding in this sort of space. Uh, for, the, for the desktop search engine, however, the funding story was boring because uh, we're monetizing it exactly like Google does. In fact, we actually show ads from Google on the, on the website and they perform very well. Um, uh, this latest project, well, we were funded based on the desktop search engine, not, not this one. <laughs> cool. Thank you. Happy to be a light hyper customer.